Breaking news. The Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Commission Limited has said that they did not envisage the importation of other treated petrol into the country and the attendance as sheep on citizens. There was an importation of dirty petroleum motto spirits, also known has petrol into the country recently, which has caused fuel queues and higher cost of goods and services. The GMD Meli Kiari said this while appearing before the House of Representatives in Abuja on the West Day. He, however, added that the petroleum would be resolved by next week. Harry said, I was very clear during my first media review and let me also repeat again for this purpose. First, we did not know that this product contained methanol. We absolutely did not know and your investigation will give you the reality at the end of the tunnel. Once you have this situation and you withdraw volumes in the market, you will have supply disruption and it comes with consequences. We are very conscious of the consequences that will come with the cues that you are seeing. The disruption of the economic activities that are very obvious and the liquidated damages that can be a legal process where you may not even be able to recover your possession. So, we are aware of this. We regret this situation and it is completely unavoidable. We didn't see it coming. I have apologized to Nigerians that we didn't see it coming. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this pending development? Who would like you to let us know your own reaction to this? Who would like to share your own point of view with us via the comment section we have just had by the you know group general the group managing director pardon of the Nigerian National Petroleum Commission Limited saying that they did not envisage the importation of other to jet petrol into the country and the attendant hardship on citizens. What is your own reaction to this? Do you agree with this that has been said? Obviously, I think there are people who are designated into this office to see the importation of petrol into Nigeria. If probably the petrol being imported meets up to the standards, how come they were not aware? How come they could not detect that this petroleum will you know contain you know methanol? According to what has been said by Kerry said it was very clear during my first media review, and let me also repeat it again for the purpose. You know, for this purpose, pardon, said first, we did not know that the product contained methanol. Then it shows that this petroleum product was not tested even before, you know, imported into Nigeria because if it was, you know, it was tested, obviously they would have known that this thing is containing methanol. And this is where we are lacking it in Nigeria. Can you just imagine adulterated petrol into Nigeria? Nigeria of which we have the petrol, we have the resources, but to make judicious use of it is our problem. Now we have the crude oil exported to other country, other countries you know contaminate and everything turn everything upside down for us, then it is being sold back to us. What is your thought to this? Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this like to share your own reaction with us? Via the comment section, I have apologized to Nigerians that we didn't see for a crisis coming. That's what has been said by the National Petroleum Company and PC boss. 
all like you to let us know your own reaction to this but before we go let's people's reactions and know your thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria henry in the war reacted to this and said apology not accepted please stand your resignation letter immediately this is the wise thing to do what is your thought to this we just had what henry has been saying that the director is lacking in his office and because of this apology is not accepted i think resignation letter will be more accepted than this you've given because resigning is the best way to go about it and it is the wise thing to do now what is your thought to this Emmanuel Kizito also reacted and said if it were to be in a sinner limb where people are well enlightened and very much aware of their rights and NPC may declare itself insolvent after paying damages arising from lawsuits in class action over this act of negligence alone yeah don't forget that we are in nigeria and of course anything can happen Ani opohobu also reacted to this and said apology not accepted we need to see those who imported and allow the contaminated fuel being punished from the marketers to the government officials they have increased the suffering in the land and shouldn't be swept under the carpet as usual what is your thought to this we've just heard what annie have also said that apology is not accepted so that we need to see those who imported and allowed the contaminated fuel into nigeria we need to see them being punished from the marketers to the government officials, all of them must be punished because these people have increased the suffering in the land and it shouldn't be swept under the carpet as usual. What is your thought to this? Annie is also saying that apology not accepted. What is your own reaction to this? You know, if Nigeria, you know, is a country that, you know, it doesn't take in rubbish, it doesn't take trash, you know, since this, you know, adulterated petrol has been detected, you would have had you know so many people being sacked the next thing you just hear in the news is so so person has been sacked so 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 person has been sacked pardon so so person has been sacked this person has been sacked the director of this has been sacked the managing director of this has been sacked the md of this place have been sacked different you know government officials also should have been sacked but nigeria has been compromised and even after this has been done you can see the you know nnpc director already apologizing and of course it will be accepted by the nigerian government and everything will continue to go normal forgetting you know some people are under rigorous heat suffering as a result of this foil hike well we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this we'd like to share your own reaction with us via the comment section don't forget that i have apologized to nigerians that we didn't see fuel crisis coming that is what has been said by the national petroleum commission that is the nnpc boss thank you guys for listening subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now